Good morning, everyone. Today, we got the MDX in the garage. We're doing some new brake rotors and pads today. This thing is just due for a little bit of service, and I think we got some stuff going on with the Q50, so we'll see how this thing plays out. Happy Saturday, everybody. And thank you, everybody, for entering to win that LED emblem. I think by now, at this point, now that I'm filming this video, the, uh, the winner has been selected. And we're excited to get this thing sent out and figure out what t-shirt you want to win. So, exciting stuff. More stuff coming for the Q50. These are the best kind of calipers to change out. It's a two-piece caliper, so you can just take the, the piston section off, put the new uh, hardware in, slide the new pads in, and then you just put this back over. We do have to, de uh, do have to compress these because they are pushed way out. So hey, how you doing today, sir? Oh boy! What you working on? We're doing some maintenance on vehicles. What do you got going on? Looks like some brake pads. Uh, my name is Brant. I'm just uh, doing home security in the area. Uh, uh, is that your Q50 out there? Yes, sir. It is. Dang! How long have you had that for? Oh gosh, right at three years now. I assume that's the wife's 350. No, yep, that's playing. the wife's wife's <laughs> drift car. Very nice. Very nice. He's solid car. Always been a Q50 fan, never never ridden in one though. And you said you were interested in a Red Sport maybe. Dude, you already know. Yep, the Red Sport. That's my that's like my dream car as of right now in my lifetime. So <laughs> that's what I'm working towards. And other things, but you know how that goes. It's a good car. A lot of potential on that platform. Q50, cool thing. The seven-speed transmission isn't that great, but it's got a rev match when you downshift. Oh, okay. Sounds good, feels good. Good pull and super smooth. You know, this is like the perfect daily to get around in but still have some speed to surprise some people with. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be faster than 90% of cars on, on your daily commute. You know? Yeah, for sure. You're not going to win a bunch of races at a drag strip, but... With the all-wheel drive, you, you keep it all there. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> no, I got a ride and uh, I was down in New Mexico for another trip and uh, I rode in a guy's SS and he, I'd say, I think he said he was pushing about like 550 horsepower and the torque was right up there at right around 500. He comes around that corner, man, I thought we were going to eat a curb for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And 
and so speaking of that, you did say you have a YouTube channel. Just let's tell everybody what the channel is so we can get some people going that way. Okay, so my brother-in-law and I, we have a pretty fresh YouTube channel. It's called uh, MRC, Michiana Race Channel. Um, just We do a lot of budget build stuff, but we've got some pretty sweet content coming this summer. Um, the only problem is I'm not going to be there for it. So. <laughs> But if you can get some stuff while you're on the road, like this. Yes, sir. Something to just, you know, keep pushing stuff out every day like you were kind of telling me earlier. Yeah. yeah. So, Michiana, like Michigan and Indiana, so everybody yeah. knows. M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A -A -A, Race Channel. And if you guys uh, like and subscribe, that would be freaking huge for us, and we'd really appreciate it. Try and get, like, my man Jordan out here. <laughs> They'll do it. This is the craziest thing. Most times when people come and knock on your door, walk in your driveway trying to sell you stuff, you just shoo them away. But we started chit-chatting about the Q50. He actually knows a little something about cars and wasn't just doing the small talk sales stuff. Yeah. So we thought, let's just take a little rip in the Q. Yeah. And I mean, not to take it off the cars, but that's what I've, I'm pretty fresh to sales. So that's what I've definitely learned is it's not all about the sale. It's just trying to connect with people. I've met some really cool people out here, but nobody's, nobody's taking me for a ride and put me on the YouTube channel yet, so this is definitely a treat, man. It's awesome. I'm glad to do it now. I'm coming back to ride the Nissan one day. Oh, yeah, we'll do it. So how long, uh, how long do you think until you'll have that done? That's kind of a long-term project for me, um, but it started rolling really fast. Actually, I just got it on New Year's Eve, actually. Okay. Bought it on New Year's Eve. Um, pretty much redid the whole front. The only thing I need for the front end is upper control arms right now. It has some cheap aftermarket things on there that are kind of making some noises. The breakables. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got all new control arms, the new bushings, uh, ball joints, everything is fresh except for those upper control arms. Um, I want to do something with the exhaust probably. Speed Culture custom single exit or something. Let's go. Because the Tome is just a little too wild for me. And awesome. we got some wheels from Cosmos Racing, which were really sweet. Uh, so a bulk of it's going to be done. And then maybe we'll start getting into some more performance stuff. Not every day you get a chance to take the door to door salesman out for a rip in your car. That was a lot of fun. Still started filming a couple of clips for his video and actually I forgot to turn the camera on on another poll I did in the queue so that kind of blows but more importantly I forgot to do an outro to get his final impressions of the Q50. But go check those guys out if you get a chance Michiana Racing Channel. Uh, they got some pretty cool stuff on there but I think they're going to start uh, really focusing on creating content for the channel so it should be pretty exciting. Looks like they got a good group of people to work with and Brand seems like a real good dude. So you might see him on the channel again. He's in town for another month or two. Uh, I invited him out to come with me to uh, Cars and Coffee this weekend or next weekend so that was a lot of fun that was kind of a little chance opportunity uh, very rarely do you come across a door-to-door -door salesman that you actually want to have a conversation with <laughs> he started asking about the Q50 and of course I was interested in talking about it and just threw it out there let's go for a little rip so uh, that was kind of fun it is hot as hell today and the car is dirty as hell I was hoping to get to wash it but I think we might have a storm rolling in so we'll see what happens I'm doing a couple of little projects today as you know I'm changing the brakes or just wrapped up doing the brakes on the on the uh, Acura and working on the wheels got some new valve stems for the Z so busy weekend expecting a couple of more things to be delivered this week so more exciting stuff coming I'm gonna try to get everything done on the Z for cars and coffee that includes wheels and tires includes interior pieces and uh, just more stuff for this car i want to get it out to cars and coffee and leave the windows open see what kind of attention we can we can draw in with the little z thank you guys for watching more stuff coming for the q50 appreciate it see you in the next one